no disrespect. That's just a fact. The old guys like myself, hey, KD's an all-time hell of a player. But until he is the guy on a championship team, we're not going to ever give him the respect, I mean, that he probably deserves. And that's just the way it is. And like I say, the, the game hasn't changed. Kobe said it. LeBron said it. And so we're going to hold him to the same high standard. Sir Charles said that, and KD said this. All this expletive is nasty. Another terrible analogy from a hating old head that can't accept that we're making more bread than him. It's just timing, Chucky. Don't hate the player. Well, I think that was a little harsh. All Charles was saying is that the narrative is going to change a little bit since you joined a really great team that was a championship team already. I don't think it was about money or him just being a hater. I don't think Charles Barkley really wants to be a hater. He just wants to tell it like it is from a player's perspective. Do you have any issue with KD clapping back? I don't, I don't have any issue with him clapping back. I don't have any issue with him clapping back on Twitter to random fans, Alex4372890. I have zero issue with him clapping back to that person or that bot or Charles Barkley. I really don't. I, I, I love Charles Barkley, and he's been so great for our game and so great for media for so long. He's wrong in this. He's just flat out wrong to, to call Kevin DeGrant anything but the bus driver of those Warriors teams. And that is not, I want to be clear, that is not a knock on Steph Curry. Let's go to the Ke Kevin Durant 2017 finals. 35 a game, eight rebounds, five assists, one steal, 1 1.6 blocks, legs. His shooting splits that series, 56% from the field, 47% from three, 92% from the free throw line. The following year, 29, 11, seven and a half, 2.3 blocks a game, 52%, 41%, 96%. If that's not the bus driver, I don't know what is the bus driver. Uh, Charles took it a little bit too far. I, I think, you know, he, he basically is giving Kevin Durant almost no credit for what went on in Golden State. When we use this analogy as the bus, now this is the new thing. And so the way I put it is, yes, he was the bus driver. He was the best player on those teams. Even Steph Curry, Draymond Green, Clay Thompson are going to tell you Kevin Durant was the best player on those teams. He was driving that bus, but it was a borrowed bus. The registration in that glove compartment has Steph Curry's name on it. All right, so he was borrowing the bus, but he, he absolutely was the guy that was the definitive best player on those teams. But here is where I think Charles Barkley is right, and actually it gets to the point you made in the last conversation, J.J., I think where I disagree with you a little bit, because I, I think I was getting a tone from you that, like, it doesn't matter on guys this level historically – how they get their rings and how you go about it. And I just disagree with that. I think we all know everybody in this league is not the same when it comes to winning rings. Certainly, I was a role player. No one gives a damn if I won a ring, right? They care if you're a champion, but then they also care about how you got the championship. Charles is right about that historically, and it's not just because Charles is hating on the money he makes. That's just not a fair point on the part of Kevin Durant. It's because historically, it's a fact. And it's not just in basketball, it's in any sport. There's another way and another level of scrutiny that guys of that caliber face. And I think that's what Charles was really saying. And I think that's just true. That's not just coming from Charles. That's the way the media has worked forever in terms of how they judge and how they view great players. So here's my thing with this whole conversation. And, and, and J.J., the splits in the finals – Amazing, right? Like, but what we what we actually talking about? And legs legs hit it a little bit. We talking about your path. We talking about your road. As far as how difficult it was to get there and what you had to overcome. We not gonna sit on TV and act like it wasn't an easier road. That's just the reality. It ain't. It don't have nothing to do with KD not being a great player. KD could get thirty five a game long before he got to Golden State. The reason why KD was knocked when he went there is because we all hold KD up to a standard that only a few get a chance to be held to. This is respect. This is, this is saying we expect more from you than most of every guy that's ever played in this league because of who you are and what you've done as an individual. Charles Barkley wasn't hating, and it's not about money. KD looked really sensitive by saying that. That was a weird comeback. He was just saying that as a great player, we hold you to a great standard. LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, all the same thing, right? Kevin Durant is so fixated on calling out the media and responding to literally everything that sometimes he's right, but other times 
he completely ignores the topic and just insults the media members by calling them old heads, haters, and saying they don't know basketball. But the truth is, a lot of these guys do know basketball. They've been studying the game for years, and they've talked to these players, to these other greats. And this is just what they say. Charles Barkley maybe took it a bit too far, but he was talking in perspective of the narrative and what other people are going to think, not necessarily himself. So even if he took it far, he's just telling it like it is, how the reality is. And KD comes back, and he's the one that actually took it too far in terms of insulting him and coming at him for something that isn't even about the discussion. But now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments whose set are you on, Kevin Durant or Charles Barkley. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.